Welcome to the mini how to add Flickr Drupal for non-techies tutorial. This will be just a very short five minute video clip of a very short section of the entire four hour how to add Flickr onto your Drupal web. If you find that you've checked off all the modules and downloaded all the modules I recommended in this next video and find that you can't add any photos or your online photo gallery doesn't work that's because 95 percent of the information is missing again this is just a very short preview to let people kinda get a taste of what's involved in adding a online widening your website's appeal by delivering its content more quickly as well as allowing your visitors to upload photos basically streamlines your offerings and as well you will not be compromising on quality whether or not you take a good photo I will present to you in this very short video how it is best possible to actually add Flickr or integrate Flickr onto your Drupal website most of us hate having our picture taken, let alone having it displayed in a public place. But let's face it, in today's world we've got to have web-based profiles and we want to be able to use our high megapixel camera or our mobile phone or webcams that are built into our monitors to be able to take pictures and show them to our friends and family and even our clients. You don't have to upload award-winning pictures or interesting portraits you just have to do it and this will be a very interesting tutorial for you I would recommend that by the end of this tutorial if you wish to learn more about how to integrate Drupal I would recommend by the end of this tutorial if you want to access the entire how to integrate Flickr to Drupal please sign up at easydrupaltutorials.com thank you in advance for taking the time out to watch this very short video you will see a list of modules that I recommend for you to download at drupal.org forward slash project. However, I want to forewarn you that this is not the entire complete list of modules. There are some modules missing. By the end of watching this YouTube video, I would highly recommend that you go to the right side of the Drupal for non-techies area where you got your free five-day Drupal course from me and on the right hand side where you see the Coffee Talk interview CD cover please go ahead and download the video onto your computer to watch it. Creating an interactive site to host online photos and pictures doesn't have to be expensive. If you make use of open source software such as Drupal and all of these contributed modules which are available to you for free you can actually create your own Flickr on your Drupal website. Isn't that exciting? One of the first things you'll want to do is go to drupal.org forward slash project forward slash CCK and download either version 6 or 5, whichever Drupal version you're running. Then you're going to want to go to the link module and download this module as well. Next, you're going to want to go to the image cache module and download either the 6 or the 5 version. Then you're going to want to download the image field module at the project forward slash image field page. Then you're going to want to also download the project forward slash image API module. And what I've done is I've gone into my Bluehost file manager area and I've gone to sites all modules and as you can see I've downloaded the CCK, the image, the image API, the image cache, the image field, as well as the link module. This is clearly visible here and I've extracted all the modules and this is the modules that are now in my Drupal folder. These are all the modules in my sites slash all slash modules folder. What you'll want to do is log into your Drupal website and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a content type called image. In the name field I'm simply going to call it screenshot and then the word image under the type field, I'm going to simply type image, I-M-A-G-E. 
in the description I just typed in this is the screenshot image content type and as we scroll down to the submission form under the title field label I've typed in title and under the body field label it's typed in as body as default I'm going to override that and type in description under minimum number of words it's zero and then we're going to scroll down this page and under the workflow we're going to want it to be published and published to the front page under the comment setting we're going to put read and write and, and finally we're going to click on save content type next we're going to add the image field 